What's happening? It's the biggest boss in the game, Rick Ross, live from Wingstop in Brooklyn. And you checking out Forbes.com. So Wingstop, we are here at Wingstop in Brooklyn. This, yeah. this is not your Wingstop, right? But you've got over 20 of them now. Tell me about that, how yeah. you got into it. You know, I was just a fan. I just love Wingstop. As you can see, the energy in here is always fun. It's always youthful. And not only that, you know, they got my favorite lemon pepper wings in the world. So, you know, it was just a natural attraction. You know, uh, you know my career took off in 06. So, you know, maybe 07, I began having those thoughts every time I pulled up to the restaurant. Like, right. it's something I need to do, you know what I mean? And, and, and I'm glad I did it. All right, well, tell me about your first franchise. Where was it? When did you kind of go into that business? And how did that happen? Right, my very first franchise we opened was in Memphis, Tennessee. That was, uh, I want to say, 2010. Okay. 2010, I want to say. And uh, it was just, it was, I just wanted it to be something personal. You know, and uh, the business just grew. It really grew. The community really came out, supported it, showed us a lot of love. I loved coming out, hanging in the restaurant. So, you know, to Rick Ross's bottom line, what on average, what does each wing stop add a year? Like a few hundred thousand, something like that? You know, when I got into the business, I wasn't even, you know, the first franchise. It wasn't even about the money. It was right. about the experience, you know, you know, just to see where it come from. And it, it quickly went from, you know, uh, a franchise that would do six, seven K a week to mm -hmm. you know, 20 K. Okay. So, so why um, go the route of, of doing franchises as opposed to opening, you know, a new line like the Rick Ross wing joint? I've actually thought of that, but at the same time, I wanted to support something that I love, you know, versus, you know, just creating something that, you know, um, that may have worked or may not. Right. It's something that I love and it's winning. Um, right. Let's not gamble on it. Let's get on the winning team and take it to the next level. You know, we just put that extra groundwork in. We invest a little more in marketing. We get out into the communities. We, you know, we, we have somebody that really reach out to the streets and, you know, go through, you know, just all the local, you sure. know, everything that's surrounding the area. And of course, me popping up is always a good thing. Come and see Forbes.com. I'm the Teflon Don. Too close. Have, have you some of these right here? I, I already filled up. Nah, but nah, nah. All right, I'll have, nah, I'll have, gotta I gotta have, have at least one here. The lemon, the lemon chicken. Wingstop owner, lemon pepper aroma. 